Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar's choice of words and graphic description, although for an important issue, but the manner in which he said it on the floor of the house has led to a massive outrage. This was on population control, but looked more and sounded more like a sex gyan. BJP has demanded resignation now of Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar. This has turned into a huge political showdown. BJP has called Chief Minister Nitish's remarks disgusting. The Chief Minister literally appeared to be giving a sex lesson. And uh, that clearly went or I because RJD is now calling, uh, uh, jumping to the defense because they are in the alliance. RJD has called the remark by Nitish Kumar as sex education, as not to be misquoted or misunderstood. इस तरह की भद्दी गंदी टिप्पणी नहीं किया होगा और महिलाओं का अपमान पूरे शक्ति को जो इन्होंने जिस प्रकार से अश्लील भाषा मैंने वीडियो देखा जो बात इन्होंने कहा है वो अत्यंत ही दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण ही नहीं बल्कि निंदात्मक है और इनको अविलंब इस्तीफा देना चाहिए और पूरी देश की जनता से माफी मांगनी चाहिए so here's what happened. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar was speaking on floor of the house, which is the state assembly in Patna. There he seemed to be talking about what appeared to be pollution con population control measures. But while with the choice of words, remember, there were women leaders as well. And he went on to explain in graphic detail of how women's education can contribute to population control. He said, when women are better educated, they know how to protect themselves from getting pregnant. Now the issue sounds fine, but the manner in which he described it was definitely not in an appropriate manner. Deputy Chief Minister Tejashvi Yadav has now insisted that the statement should be taken as sex education, not as anything else. Nitish Kumar's graphic description in the assembly has now led to a huge showdown. BJP has called it derogatory, double meaning remarks. And BJP MP Giriraj Singh, who's also from Bihar, has said Nitish Kumar appears to have lost his mental balance. He's unfit to lead a civilized society. National Commission for Women has demanded an immediate apology from Bihar Chief Minister, calling this as an affront to the dignity of women. <laughs> कि अगर पढ़ लेगी लड़की और वो जब शादी होगा लड़का लड़की में तो जो पुरुष है वो तो रोज रात में जो सदिया होता है उसके साथ करता है ना तो उसी में और पैदा हो जाता है और लड़की पढ़ लेती है तो हमको मालूम था कि वो करेगा ठीक है लेकिन अंतिम में भीतर मत घुसाओ उसको बाहर कर दो आ करता तो है तो उसी में आप समझ लीजिए एक तरह से जो भी मुख्यमंत्री जी का बयान आए जो सेक्स एजुकेशन के बारे में और जब भी सेक्स एजुकेशन की बात की जाती है तो इसकी लोग जो है शर्माते हैं चलते हैं तो उससे लोगों को बचना चाहिए तो स्कूलों में पढ़ाई होती है हमको लगता है कि सेक्स एजुकेशन की अगर बात है उनका कहने का मतलब आबादी कंट्रोल जो है क्या करना है वो प्रैक्टिकली बात जो भी आती है उन्होंने अपना बात किया तो इससे लोगों को गलत तरीका में नहीं लेना चाहिए एतराज नहीं लेना बट मोर टेकन एज सेक्स एजुकेशन पूरे बिहार की साढ़े छह करोड़ महिलाएं शर्मसार हो गई बिहार में माँ और बहन नीतीश कुमार की सभा में जाने से भागे नीतीश बाबू क्या हो गया है जब तक हम लोगों के साथ थे तो आप तो अच्छा बर्ताव कर रहे थे लोग क्या हो गया है ये राजद के साथ कांग्रेस पार्टी के साथ आप जाने के बाद आपकी स्थिति गड़बड़ा गई है हमारी जो बहने माननीय सदस्य हैं, वो तो शर्मसार हो गई लोकतंत्र में इससे बड़ा दुर्भाग्य कुछ नहीं होता This kind of commentary only shows that if they think like this and speak like this in the assembly, imagine what is the plight of the women in the state of Bihar and the jungle raj that has been created in Bihar. And in short, condemning this statement, Mamta Didi, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Vadra, Akhilesh Yadav, Arvind Kejriwal, they are all silent. So they endorse it. Tejasvi Yadav, Deputy CM, has justified it, said it is sex education. This kind of actions that he has done in the assembly the women of this country will never forgive this alliance the women will never forgive nitish kumar ji
एक मुख्यमंत्री के पद पर है सब ये बात बोलते हैं सब उनका प्रयोग करते हैं तो सठिया गया ना उनका दिन मुख्यमंत्री रहने लायक नहीं अब ऐसी का बात तो नहीं बोले उनका कहना था कि महिलाएं जो है शिक्षित हुई हैं पहले कम उम्र में महिलाओं का शादी लड़कियों का शादी होता था अब उम्र पर हो रहा है इसी पर वो बोले कोई ऐसी बात नहीं है so let's uh, go across to aditya vaibhav in patna who's uh, reporting on the latest on that aditya i did hear and listen to what uh, the chief minister said and the words were definitely not in the right place even if the issue was how has this become a political issue has nitish kumar himself given out any clarification uh, how is the bjp escalating this issue tell me what's happening on the ground and why did he make this comment in the first place Well, exactly. As far as CM Nitish Kumar is concerned, of course, he was actually speaking on the uh, caste waste uh, survey report that was actually tabled in the uh, state legislature the last day by the state government, and he was actually uh, talking about that when he made those stunning comments. And uh, what I would uh, like to mention over here is that he that does not mentioned it once, but in fact he took his chance twice. and he initially spoke the entire uh, verbatim in bihar legislative assembly and then he repeated it with some more value additions in bihar legislative council so this is something that is categorically a deliberate choice on part of uh, uh, chief minister uh, nitish kumar is concerned and then of course bjp was quick to capitalize and one of its legislators nivedita singh she technically broke into tears while talking to the media on the entire episode and she was actually uh, uh, very categorical and gross when uh, it comes to her statements and the verbatim she used but then interesting to note here is the fact that chief minister nitish kumar while leaving the state legislature was technically interrupted by media intervened by media but then he chose not to talk on the entire issue so this is what technically transpired in the state legislature the last day and interestingly Uh, deputy chief minister tejasvi yadav came to his rescue and respite and technically uh, described the entire incident as something related to sex education so something uh, is very clear on this part that chief minister nitish kumar technically decided to speak on this not once but twice and both on record in the state legislature back to All right thank you so much for now Aditya Vaibhav and this is going to become a huge issue it's literally what Nitish Kumar has given to the Bharatiya Janata Party on a platter and they'll likely escalate this uh, in the next few hours as well we'll try and get you as much reactions and if Nitish Kumar decides to give out a clarification of what did he actually mean to say